right, everyone. Welcome to Rhythm and Roads Podcast. I'm your host, Joshua Jacob. We have a very special guest. We have Tim from Sack Life, Beat Depression. Um, he has an incredible story to share. I met him about four or five years ago at Planet Fitness in Henderson, Nevada. It's been a journey. And I remember when I was talking to him about uh, life and my own personal stuff, he was sharing his story. And I was just like, wow, I was just inspired by him. I was blessed by hearing his story. So I, want, I invited him on to the podcast. So welcome, Tim. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you. And I remember you and I actually like talked for a good while. We were in there and we were, you were telling me about your story. And um, and I was just like, wow, I was just so inspired by it. But Thanks, man. Yeah, I do remember meeting you. I remember that's your face. Awesome. And I remember the 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 spot in Henderson at the Planet Fitness. Yeah. But I, I meet thousands of people yeah, I, now. I bet, man. Yeah. <laughs> crazy it's crazy i i don't know if we're meant to know this many people it's it's so many people it's really hard for me to keep everything together but i definitely remember being in henderson nevada, uh, nevada and having the conversation with you and having a connection That's and good. uh yeah it's but, good yeah. it's these are the best times of my life like being able to connect with people and share experience and see that experience help not just myself but help others Right. So. Oh, yeah. And you're doing a great job in doing that, man. I mean, you've been doing this for, I believe, since 2019. So, yeah, it's like I don't know if this is forwards or backwards. Oh, on the, backwards. Yeah. It's backwards. Or is it's, it's, backwards. Upside down. it's upside down. Yeah. For the virtual camera on the our live show, it has to be backwards. But it's been a thousand eight hundred and sixty seven days today. Hey, of- congrats, man. Thank you. Over five years of training and sharing what's helped me move forward so thank you (laughs) a crazy journey man crazy well let's start this journey man so i we do want to know your story and and of course share what you want to share and and if it's too private on other stuff that's totally fine but yeah so what got to the point of you wanting to start sack life so for me in 2019 i was going through a tremendous amount of loss and a lot of huge life changes. I had um, left an extreme religion that I was raised in, and that caused the divide. The religion kind of isolates you from your family, and if you if you leave the religion, they put a divide between you. So I lost contact with my direct family and all the people who raised me from about zero to thirty, all at once, just kind of disconnected and. Wow. Uh, that cut me out of their life. It's like an excommunication or shunning kind of situation. That's sad, man. Yeah, it it was rough. Um, And so at the same time, I lost my parents. I lost connection with the people who raised me. 99% of my social support system was gone basically overnight. Um, In that process, I lost my marriage of nine years. It was a 14, 14-year relationship. Um, and then shortly after those two, it was sort of like a snowball of bad events. I, I got into some shady business practice with a person who I thought was my friend Mm -hmm. and it out that he was just a con man and I wound up, yeah, he wound up defrauding me out of the business that we had started together and I wound up going through bankruptcy. So Wow. I was a hun- over a hundred thousand dollars in debt. I had Whoa. to go through. Yeah, a hundred. Yeah, big numbers. It was big like, numbers. It was a oh, crazy time really? again. Crazy, crazy time. I made a lot of bad decisions. You know, I started to spiral into clinical depression and suicidal ideation started creeping in, and so I just started to try and distract myself from the things that I didn't want to think about, with staying busy, working a lot of overtime going out and partying um, and just every vice you could think of. And um, so that was just a, a pretty rapid decline. I I was drinking, I was partying, I was staying busy. I was running this business. I was working overtime just so I didn't really have to think about how terrible it felt to exist at that moment. Yeah. And um, I got into therapy and I got on meds. And they helped me a little bit. They helped me take some steps forward. Okay. But I was still continuing to decline. And so the suicidal ideation got really bad 
and I I worked in air conditioning repair. Okay. So I was on, on rooftops. Mm -hmm. So literally it was like a few steps away and I could end it. And I would start to visualize that and think about that. Oh, wow. And I started having like breakdowns at work and things like that. So um, it got to a point where one morning I woke up and the only thing on my mind was to end my life. And so I called my therapist at the time, mm. sort of in a formative way, just to let them know, like, hey, thank you, you know, for helping me out. Thank you for trying. But this is it for me. And when I did that, they called the they had me call the suicide hotline or mm. they called the suicide. Both of us called. They called the suicide hotline. 988. Yeah. If anybody is out there, 988 is a nationwide resource for you there's a community of people if you are going through struggles they're waiting to support you there you um, go yeah and thank you and those that line contacted the emergency room in my local area and i went through that process of being in the emergency room and being treated and i, I say treated but it didn't feel like i was being treated it felt like they were that they need a lot of improvement in the way that they handle things in emergency rooms when it comes to mental health and in situations like this. Oh, is that so right? yeah. Cause I was in there for about eight hours in the process mm -hmm. and I saw six different people and they all just had me ask me the same question and had me repeat my whole life story one after the other, you know? And so that was like, that was crazy. It was driving me even more off the yeah. edge than right. before I got there. So yeah. I was like, oh, I got to get out of this place. This is this is madness. And um, unfortunately, because I they kept escalating me, uh, they had put me through to a room where they stripped me naked and checked me for self-harm. And then they put me in a small room with nothing in it except a little glass window with wow. some wires between that window. And uh, and they said, unfortunately, we can't release you on your own. We have to release you into the care of someone else. And at the time I had been uh, cut off yeah. from everyone. Right. And so I I called the only person that was on my like emergency contact was my mother, who wasn't talking to me at the time. Oh, OK. And, and so they contacted her to come down to the emergency room and take me out of the, the psych ward and um when she showed up i think that was like a, a wake-up moment for her and us for our relationship because she was like oh look you know what's happening you know clearly this is not what god wants to happen right, right. right. so um so they released me into her care and the first thing that i did was go out and look for a way that i could show up for myself because i had been on medication i'd been in therapy i was continuing to decline and it wasn't enough. It, there wasn't enough tools in my toolkit for me to move forward and actually recover or heal or start moving in a positive direction. Yeah. So I went and I bought a punching bag because I heard it was a good outlet for anger. And I was really at the time. Yeah. I didn't know what it was going to do for my mental health. Mm -hmm. But the first time that I hit that bag, I felt a weight come off my shoulders that I couldn't get through therapy or medication. Wow. Is that right? Huge huge physical relief and i tell everybody like you have to experience it to understand it and whether or not to find out if it works for you or yeah. a tool that's missing from your kit right so i felt this huge relief and this huge weight come off my shoulders literally on the first punch oh. and i knew i knew that it was something i wanted in my life as much as possible yeah. and so i started training every day oh. and on day 20, I, day 20 is when I noticed that my suicidal ideation had stopped. Wow. It, That's it awesome. was gone. Wow. And that literally like right out of the emergency room, 20 days later, no more suicidal ideation and it hasn't returned for 1,867 days. Ah, oh, congrats, man. What an incredible. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And that's not the best part. The best oh, part more. is, oh. <laughs> yeah, there's way more. So the best part is I started sharing this with others. Yeah. And the my roommate in 20 days, it helped him. He told, it didn't give me the specific details, but he told me it saved his life. 
Wow. Okay. So two days after that, it saved a local uh, person in my town's life. They told me the same thing. And then I opened up my home. I started training my local community for free. I said, just come in, try it, see if it's something that works for you. If not, you'll know, you know, yeah. you feel that physical relief. Right. right. And, um, and it built a community, a community grew around it. And so I turned my home nice. into a training center. Thank you. I, I turned my home into a training center. I padded the floors. I put up multiple bags and I just started having regular people come through. We put up a donation box and it just started to grow on its own. And I was still working on it like every day. Um, and I had lost my job as well in that process of decline. I think I missed that part, but I lost my job. I lost, I lost everything, went through the emergency room built the studio, started training the people, then COVID hit. And oh. I I had to stop bringing people into the home because yeah. I had two roommates. And uh, so that would, turned out to be a blessing in disguise because we went virtual from that point. Oh, that's cool. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And so now I train every day at SAC Life Official on Instagram. I do a live show at six o'clock Eastern time. It runs for a half hour. I've oh. been doing that show. For a thousand eight hundred and sixty plus days, oh, that's so and, cool, man. and it's helped thousands of people around the world move forward with their mental health. That's awesome! And, wow! And thank you. And that community has allowed me to now travel the country. They're bringing me from place to place to serve other communities, from local parks, from businesses, from martial arts dojos, and um, they brought me to California to train with a world champion really? for two months. Wow. Yeah, his name Greg Wooten. Awesome guy. Um, he's a Muay Thai two-time world champion. He was one of the first people who I met after leaving New Jersey and, and traveling. And uh, just a quick check-in. How much time do we have? Because oh, yeah, I'm well, going to talk about it for the rest of my life. Like 13 minutes. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. I'll bullet point us into the most important yeah, yeah. stuff. So uh met Greg, trained with him. I sold him my car that I drove across the country with. Okay. Uh, and then he helped me drive two hours north to build a Volkswagen bus that has a punching bag attached to it. Right, yeah. Remember that. And that bus is what I'm living in now and traveling the country with, serving communities all across the US for free. Wow. And we're doing in person training. We just built a mental health punching bag, which really? is the okay. yeah. This is the next step forward. It's amazing. It's already having a positive impact. We put one up in Pu'u Muay Thai in Ventura, California. Oh, wow. This is, this is their uh, official shorts right here. Pu'u Muay oh, Thai. Oh, cool. There you go. Those are Gratitude. nice, man. Thanks, man. Very nice. Gratitude. Yeah. Pu'u Muay Thai. They put up our first mental health punching bag. And then we put up another one on the East Coast at Zen Thai Martial Arts. Gratitude to Zenpai out there. Nice. And the the beautiful part about this bag is that it shares the mental health tools that helped me save my life and move forwards and it and it completed my toolkit. And this is the same process that has helped hundreds of people across the country in person find relief in ways they would not have considered otherwise. Right. And anyone who's interested can access the process for free on the website at sacklifeofficial.com. Okay. We have link, links to how to heal with a heavy bag. So you can do this in your home for free. Okay. Or if they're a gym or a business, or they want to serve their local community and add this mental health tool as a resource, uh, just contact me through the website at sacklifeofficial.com. And we are custom making these bags per individual basis with Century Martial Arts. So wow. Century Martial Arts is manufacturing the bag and we'll make it happen. If if you guys want it for your community, we'll get it done. That's awesome, man. Look at you. And I really thank you for sharing your story. And it's just incredible the fact that you, I mean, if if God didn't reach to you and and let give you this idea, you wouldn't be here. You know what I mean? And the support you've gotten from the community and and just so much like it's just it's awesome just to be talking to you because there's, I mean, there could have been a time where you just decided to end it and it was, that was it, but your chapter wasn't over. So this is your yeah. story. 
And that's why it's an awesome story. So thank you for what you've been doing to the, for the community, for just across the country. I mean, that's awesome, man. And I, and you probably have met so many incredible people on your journey that you just never thought <laughs> you're like, man, this is so much so cool that have these opportunities. Yeah, and everyone that I meet is more reason for me to stay alive. That's And right. I think that's a huge part of my mental health and my drive now Yeah. is that how much more can we do with this just by sharing it? How much more can we do when we work together? And it's not just me taking care of myself with a bag. It's me sharing what helped me take care of myself with the community. That's right. And it's the best time of my life. I, I Everything is free. And somehow the community is supporting it. They're keeping me fed. They're keeping gas in the van. They're helping me travel across the country. That's awesome. Um, if anyone would like to support the mission out there, there's a donation link at sacklifeofficial.com. There you go. And that keeps me fed so I can be here to share the tools. Awesome. Yeah. I'm glad you have a community that's supporting you and people are helping you out. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's a good cause and it's a very important cause because during this time, even around October, during the holidays, a lot of people get depressed. They get sad and they, you know, they've lost loved ones. They've lost certain, um, you know, I guess, yeah, kids or and around this time, it's, it just gets harder. And I think this month is focused on uh, mental health. So, yeah, that's Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's a growing need. It's it's always been a need and it's been becoming more and more critical, you know, the more time goes on. Um, and I think it's really important for men specifically. It's important for everyone, Yeah. but important for men specifically to find ways to heal that don't require talking because we've been stigmatized and conditioned by society not to talk about these issues. It's already programmed into us to suppress the things that we're going through. Mm. And Okay. when we suppress it, it festers No. and it turns into, you know, all kinds of problems. So the physical tools, the physical outlet that allows you to process stress, trauma, it's called somatic experiencing. Yeah. And it happens in the animal kingdom, too. Okay. And if an animal doesn't get to somatically process the stress from fight or flight, then it dies Wow. as humans. we don't die. We just develop these mental health struggles. So I think it's really important for men to try physical outlets, to find the physical outlet that works for them to bring them this feeling of relief, that physical relief in the nervous system. That's Right. what's been, it's Yeah. a been a light bulb moment for me and for, you know, hundreds of others that I've trained. And Yeah. it's just a thing to be a part of that journey for somebody and to be a part of that moment where you see them literally experience that that relief for the first time it's it's mind-blowing No, it is. And I bet just that when someone tells you their testimony or their story to you and they're just like, you know, because I heard your story, I did something and it made me realize what I needed to work on. I mean, it, it really affects you in a good way where you're like, man, like I've this is my purpose is to help others with their struggle. yeah So that's awesome. And you probably saved so many lives, so many people who are wanting to try to take their own and hear because of your story. They were like, well, if he can do it, I can do it. That that's true. If he could do it, I can do it. But I don't like to say that I saved anybody's life. That's not it. Right. I, I don't have the power to save anybody's life other than my own. Oh, It's true. Man. all I can do is share the tools. Right, sure. And I'm grateful to be able to share the tools and and have a, that part of their journey. But Yeah. if you did work and you hit that bag, I can't move your arms for you. I Oh, cannot wow. make you get up and do that. Yeah. That is a hundred percent. You put the effort in Yeah. and you deserve the credit for saving your life because it doesn't work when I talk about it. It works when you do it, put the action you know? yeah Yeah, it's yeah action. Faith plus works, right? that's It's right yeah we need the action. yeah We need to put the faith to work and get into the process in order to get the results. So I meet a lot of people who occasionally will tell me, hey, you saved my life. And I'm like, no, bro, you saved your life. You did the work. work you did the work that's right Tools. I'll take credit for the tools. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah that's right yeah that's true Yeah, because if you don't do action on it, then there's no results. You don't, you know, and that's the thing. Uh, there's a quote that says, um, nothing changes if nothing changes. Nothing changes if nothing changes. So if you want change, make a change.
Because if you don't change, you'll never see the results. It's just a cycle. So nothing changes if nothing changes. So that's awesome, man. And um, just, you know, I don't know if this is personal, but, you know, how are things now with your family? Like, are you talking still with your mother or? Thank you for asking. Yeah, man. Best, best relationship I've ever had with my parents. Oh, man, that's awesome. That's awesome. Hands down. Um, they love me, respect me and appreciate me. for who I am and for what I'm doing, not based on what they expect of me. Right. So it's, I'm actually right now in New Jersey for a few more days and Okay. I'm on, I'm on a couch that they keep for me in a room that they keep for me when I'm traveling. Um, they cleared it out. And now, you know, I have a place to sleep on the East coast when I'm out here. Okay. So Are you visiting yeah, your right now or? I'm visiting them right now. Yeah. They live Oh, nice. upstairs Oh, in sweet. a downstairs. I try to see them once a year now um, on the travels. Yeah. The community decides where I go, so I don't get to normally choose. But I'm trying to make sure once a year I can find a way to I know get back. and this is that year to see them where you're at right now Yeah, this is that moment. I've been here for a few months, and um, I got to see my sister's wedding and be a part of it. oh that's So that awesome was, all right nice yeah, yeah, it's been... It's been amazing, man. Amazing. awesome And uh, next stop is Tulsa, Oklahoma in November. oh The is American it okay nice Tulsa American Foundation for Suicide Prevention okay is bringing this out to serve at an event where there will be over a thousand people in attendance. Wow, And dude. then the day after that, I'm the best man in the wedding of one of my virtual students. Are you serious? Wow. That is, congrats on that. That's cool. Thank you. Yeah, it's all good news now. <laughs> it's great. I mean, there's still plenty of, you know, people struggling and that's not good, but Oh, we're right. finding relief. We're helping each other. We're growing a community and there's really nothing we can't do when we work together. So it's, it's moving forward and I'm grateful to be a part of it. It's, it's crazy. I'm really happy that you're a part of that. I mean, it's just incredible from going from ground zero to the edge of, you know, almost pretty much losing your life to now finding life and living life to a point where you're like, I never thought this was a side of my life in the future. And if I would have, it's kind of like, uh, I was talking about it with someone, the about worrying sometimes and stress on the, when there's like a thick cloud in front of you, right? Like a mist. You don't see what's on the other side, but you're always Yeah. wondering. You're always want to know now what's the future. Like, what is it going to be? I want my roadmap laid out in front of me. I want to see the end result. I want to see. But sometimes with faith, it requires you can't know the end result. You got to focus on today because you're alive today. And as a, and Yeah. as you are building today for the future, then the roadmap starts to develop for your foundation for the future. So Yeah. with me, I had to work on that too, because sometimes I get stressed on the future, what's going to happen and all that. But it's like, kind of you, if you were to go with that mindset, you lose out on today because you are here today. So with Right. you, you didn't know the future, what God had on all this for you. And at that point of when you were wanting to take your own life, there was another side of a story of a chapter that was waiting for you, but it was like a, it was like an option given to you. What are you going to decide? You know, are you going to Yeah. take your life or are you going to live or are you going to grab to life? You know, Yeah. and Yeah. that. I feel that, man. Um I I couldn't see it. When I was in it, I couldn't see a way out. I couldn't see things getting better. And now I give myself more reasons to stay alive every day. And it, and I feel that. I feel regular gratitude all the time now. For every time I'm drinking a cup of coffee, I'm like, the community gave me this coffee. The community gave me this food. There you go. The Everything. community gave me this. Yeah. It, it, it's crazy. And that, that thinking ahead, there's a quote in the mental health field that anxiety lives in the future. depression lives in the past but in the present you're free and powerful There you go. There you go. you know so it, it's about that present show up for yourself do what you can today put those works into action put that faith into the work and then this this tool helps remind me of how far i've come if you ask me on day one how many days you're going to do this for i'd have no idea <laughs> right right you're just like i don't know but i know i'm going to show up every day that i can And now we're five years forward and there's a whole thing happening that's helping hundreds of people. It's crazy. It's crazy. that's crazy <laughs> 
Yeah, and you got your apparel too. Yeah, it, oh, it's sure. great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I had to raise awareness. You know, I want to live yeah, it. Yeah. So I branded everything up. We got on the website. If you guys, if anyone would like any merch, we've got everything on there. Coffee cups, backpack, fanny packs, all the things. Awesome. And where else can the uh, viewers find you on social media besides the website? So I'm on social media and uh, sorry, I'm just looking for my stickers. I think these are going to be front ways on here. Oh, cool. Right? There you go. Yeah, I'm on social media at Sack Life Official on TikTok and on Instagram. And then yeah. if you find me on the website at SackLifeOfficial.com, you can find the bus and where it's going to be. We have an Instagram channel called Where's That Bus? And every time I pop up for free local training, it'll be up on that channel. So if you guys want to come out, you can bring a group. I've trained single people to groups of over 100 people. Dang. So bring your friends. It's all free for the community. Come through anytime. My bus is your bus. There you go. And I actually remember the bus. It was really cool. You, you showed me a little bit of it. Saw the punching bag. I was like, that's really cool, man. And that was probably like five years ago. I think it was like four or five years ago when I met you. Yeah, yeah it's getting better. I keep working on it every day, like a, a little bit, like everything else, like 1% forward a day, a baby step a day. Yeah. I do the thing with the bus and now it's got like running water, central heat. It cooks my really? food. Oh, wow. I've got a full, full bed in there instead of sleeping on a seat, you know. It's, that's, uh, that's cool. That's um, awesome. Do you plan on going to New Mexico anytime? Or have you been through New Mexico? I've been through New Mexico a couple times. I went to Roswell. I like oh, you Roswell. Did? Okay. I'm familiar yeah, with the, Roswell. Yeah. yeah, the community in Roswell loves the bus. They're very supportive. I had, I had a great time over there. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, Texas? Texas. I've got a couple of friends out there. I'm planning on getting back to Texas, actually. I have like four or five contacts in Austin, Dallas, and uh, no, Austin and Dallas and Round Rock, Texas that I have to yeah. get back to. Okay. So I'm going to be in, in Tulsa in November. You and are, then okay. I th I'm going to try and get down to Texas while I'm there. Because oh, okay. it's, it's close enough. Yeah. We'll see. I have to maintain a, a survival budget in order to stay fed. Right. And then if donations go well, then there'll be travel money. So that's... That's how I determine either where I'm going to be is <clears throat> paid for by a business or an event, or yeah. I have to wait until I have enough for gas to, to get there and serve the community where I'm at. Awesome. So, okay. yeah. The reason why Are I'm you in, I'm in, in New Texas? Mexico. No, I'm in New Mexico now. Oh, okay. I'm in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Albuquerque. I don't know if I've been to Albuquerque. Yeah. How far are you from Roswell? Uh, so a drive from Roswell to Albuquerque is about two and a half hours. Because I've actually okay. driven it. Yeah, I've driven it from Albuquerque to Roswell, and it was about two and a half. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah so, I mean, if you're ever, it's kind of, we're also near Santa Fe, New Mexico. So there's, we're an hour from Santa Fe. Okay. I've been to the Santa Fe Planet Fitness. Oh, you have? Okay. Yeah. I lived there for a couple of days. Oh, you did? Okay. That's my life hack when I'm traveling is Planet Fitness membership because I have parking lots, 24-hour oh, right. toilet, showers. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good, it's a good move. Has, I highly recommend. Has Planet Fitness learned about your story? I mean, I wonder if they would consider kind of helping you out because you know. Uh, uh. I I tried reaching out to them, but it doesn't get through. I don't know. There's there must be some ladder you have to climb oh. to actually get to corporate. But if Planet if corporate Planet Fitness is watching, I would love to work together. Just as go. long as we can make it mutually beneficial for all. That's that's my guideline. That is, yeah. And that's a good one. Yeah. Well, thank you, Tim, for coming on Rhythm and Roads. Such a blessing thank to you. have you and talk to you. And I remember hearing your story even four or five years ago, and I was still inspired then, and I'm still blessed by hearing it just now. So thank you again. It's we you know we're blessed to have you and we're thankful that you are making a difference in your community through the cross country. It's just it's awesome, man. Around the world too. I mean, if there's people that are joining on your um, Zoom channel to do it for the workouts. Yeah, I mean, who knows where they're coming from. So They're everywhere, man. Everywhere. We're getting stronger every day. Let's go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want to, before we end, just also give out the information in case anyone is going through mental health issues or going through something where they do need help. Uh, you, you brought up a phone number? 
Yes, uh, please do. If you are currently struggling, if you're currently in crisis, 988 is a nationwide support line. There's a community waiting to support you. Also, if you check out the website at sacklifeofficial.com, there are links to support groups in your local area. And these support groups are run by the National Alliance on Mental Illness and the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. All of that information is available at sacklifeofficial.com. Awesome. Thank you, Tim. Well, thank you, you again thank for you. coming on Rhythm and Roads and check out Sack Life's official website and support by his merch. And I hope on there it actually gives do you ever put like uh, dates of where you're gonna be going? Like a like a I guess I don't know what you call it a tour date, but tour list. <laughs> Like, well, I don't really know, though. That's the oh, problem. Okay. <laughs> I don't really know until the community brings my me where I'm going to be. Okay. All I know is where I'm at now, today, you know? <laughs> <We're right> today. <laughs> but usually you do do uh, post, like, oh, I'll be here next week or... Yeah, close, close, not that far ahead, because I can't see ahead. that. Right. But yeah. within, like, the week or so, so, maybe two weeks out, if you want to find the bus, reach out through Instagram and find that bus channel where's that bus and i post up there so we do pop-ups from time to time too if there's a pop-up happening it'll go right there right to that page and you'll always be informed awesome and what's the instagram again is it the same as the website it, it's all sack life official okay make sure you life. put the official on there because there's all kinds of weird stuff on the internet <laughs> I'll do that. all right man well, thanks again <laughs> man. Was, yeah this is that your life sack life that's the that's the motto. And I'm actually really happy before we end, um, just that you were, you know, your relationship with your parents is really good. Um, you know, that's very important. I, I'm a big family man. And so I lost I lost my mother to cancer three years ago. And and that took a toll on me and my brother, you know, and uh, thankfully, because of my faith, you know, it kept me going and kept me in place. Um, but yeah, it was it's definitely a, a when you lose a parent, it sucks, man. I mean, just the thoughts you go through and just, I went, I don't know if I could say I went through depression, but I definitely went, I was pretty sad for a little bit, you know, and I was just like, you know, just praying God help me, you know, and, but thankfully my mom's prayers that led up to her passing was giving me something that I needed. And, and I thankful for that, but I just know it's family is important. So I'm glad that your parents are talking to you. You have a great relationship. I mean, that's, that's awesome, man. Yes, sir. And I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, thank uh, you. That's a difficult, the grieving process. Um, just to touch on that real quick. I know you said you, you felt sad for a while. Depression is on a spectrum. So we all experience depression on some level or another. It could be mild, okay. moderate, severe, okay. clinical. There's a lot of different stages. stages okay. But I, I'm glad that you're still here. And I'm glad that you find healing through faith and through prayer. And I've seen faith heal people all across the country as well it's definitely a blessing to have a family and to be a part of a family and even though i lost a lot of people in my family i find that my soul family is growing every day there you go. so yeah. it's a beautiful thing it is a beautiful thing man well thank you man i appreciate that all right guys well thank you for coming on this episode watching the rhythm and roads podcast with tim from sack life and we will catch you guys on the next episode. Thanks, Tim, for coming on. Thank you.